Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's draw another triangle. It says draw an isosceles triangle PQR in which PQ is equal to PR, QR is equal to 12 centimeters, and angle PQR is equal to 50 degrees. Okay, so what we'll do in this lesson is learn how to draw an isosceles triangle. Okay, now we know that an isosceles triangle, there are two sides that are of the same length. And what we know is in this triangle, PQR, PQ and PR are of the same length, right? They're equal. And the third side, QR is equal to 12 centimeters. And this angle, PQR is equal to 50 degrees. Okay, so let's draw a rough isosceles triangle first, okay? So this, let's suppose, is the side QR. Okay, so this is Q, this is R and it's equal to 12 centimeters. That's given to us, right? And the other two sides are, say, like this, this, and this, okay? And this will be point P. Let's put some color into it, okay? Next, what we know is PQ is equal to PR, so this side, PQ, is equal to PR, so if PQ is equal to PR, then we know that this angle, which is PQR, okay, let's call it angle Q, angle Q will be equal to angle R, right? The angles opposite the equal sides of an isosceles triangle are equal. So the angle opposite to this side is angle R and the angle opposite to this side is angle Q. So Angle Q is equal to angle R since PQ and PR are equal. So this angle, angle Q is equal to angle R. And what we also know is angle Q or angle PQR is equal to 50 degrees. So this is 50 degrees, right? PQR, angle PQR is equal to 50 degrees. So if angle PQR is equal to 50 degrees, then angle R must also be equal to 50 degrees, right? Angle PRQ must also be equal to 50 degrees. So this is equal to 50 degrees. That's the property of the isosceles triangle, that the angles opposite the equal sides are also equal. So Q is 50 degrees, therefore R is also equal to 50 degrees. Now it becomes fairly easy to draw this triangle, okay? So let's do that. Let's take a ruler and draw a side of 12 centimeters. So here's my ruler, place it here and draw a line that's 12 centimeters long, okay? So zero to 12 here. Let's remove the ruler. Now this is Q, this is R, and this is 12 centimeters, right? Now angle Q or angle PQR is equal to 50 degrees. So let's take a protractor. Okay, this protractor here, put it on Q and mark an angle of 50 degrees, right? So let's do that. Let's put a point here at 50 degrees, right? 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Put a mark at 50 degrees, then join from Q to that point and through. Okay, so this is 50 degrees. All right. What next? Well, angle R is also equal to 50 degrees. So we take the protractor, move it to point R, and mark another line. So that angle R over here is equal to 50 degrees. Okay, so let's do that. It's this point over here. Let's join the two and through. And there you go. Now the point at which the two lines cross is your point P and this is your triangle PQR, the isosceles triangle that you've been asked to draw. Okay, now this angle we know is equal to 50 degrees, right? And this angle is also 50 degrees. Now what should this angle be equal to? It's quite simple. The sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So if this is 50 and this is 50, then this angle will be 180 minus 50 minus 50, which is what? Let's see. 180 minus 50 is 130. 130 minus 50 is 80. 
So this is equal to 80 degrees. Let's see if this really is 80 or not, okay? So I take my protractor, turn it, okay, place it here, at P, and let's see, okay? 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So this angle really is 80 degrees, right? So this is correct. This is equal to 80 degrees. But how about the two sides, PQ and PR? Are they really equal? Well, let's see. Let's measure them and see if they are really the same size or not. Okay, so I take this ruler and turn it and see how much the length of this line is. Well, let's see. This is equal to, looks like it's about 9.3 centimeters. Okay, so we write that down here that this is side PQ is 9.3 centimeters. But is side PR also equal to 9.3 centimeters? Well, let's find out. So we turn it one more time. Here, put the zero on P and let's see. Well, this one also looks like it's 9.3. This is 9, 9.1, 9.2 and 9.3. So side PR is also equal to 9.3. So there you go. You've drawn the correct triangle. Okay, so this is an isosceles triangle. The two sides are equal to 9.3 centimeters and the angles opposite to them are equal to 50 degrees and the other angle is 80 degrees and the other side that was given to us is 12 centimeters. All right, well, that's it. That brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you understood it and I hope that now you'll go and practice some as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.